praise in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ i would like to praise god for the freedom and opportunity the almighty god has given us to gather in his beautiful courts and celebrate his birth even in the times of pandemic as we are facing and confronting a new outbreak of covid but all the people all over the world are getting more and more panic worried and uncertain about their future god is giving much more opportunities to find the relevance of the birth of christ and to look back and reflect on the real christmas experience the pain the pathos and the burden of god when he sent his only begotten son in the form of a human being i praise god for all the wonderful talents that we experience today as the parish celebrates the christmas one of the families is undergoing the pain of bereavement as the vicar of the parish i would like to remember that family in prayer and i urge you to stand for a while as a mark of our respect and solidarity to the bereaved family gracious lord heavenly father we commemorate the wonderful life of mrs jory george thank you for sending a wonderful life in the midst of this parish thank you for all the times that we worshiped together we had the fellowship together and we moved together in the journey of faith for the lord we remember especially the family in your mighty hand may the peace that surpass all understanding may prevail and brood over their lives and their thoughts as the word of my mouth and meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you our lord and redeemer in jesus matchless name we pray amen please be seated before i begin my christmas message i would like to take a moment to think about the contribution the hard work our choir has put in to celebrate the christmas the proclaim the christmas message through wonderful songs i honor the able leadership of dr binu matike thomas and the entire team members of choir for presenting a wonderful christmas message through songs give a huge round of applause to our choir members also i would like to appreciate the wonderful efforts the new versions of christmas uh, through our wonderful talents of children and youth give them a huge round of applause today i will be focusing on two verses one from old testament and one from new testament surprisingly these two verses are not traditional christmas verses but i don't know strange when i sat in prayer for this message god gave me these two verses that is the reason why i would like to stick on to these verses in this christmas message first one is taken from psalms 53 verse 2 
and the verse goes like this God looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand and who seek after God God looks down from heaven and the second verse is taken from the gospel according to Saint John chapter 6 verse 38 and the verse goes like this for I have come down from heaven not to do my own will but the will of him who sent me for I have come down from heaven now I would like to narrow down these verses the form a 53 Psalms 53 verse 2 a Saint John chapter 6 38 verse a God look down New Testament God came down before I begin my message I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Dr. Jaswin, Dr. Ann's friends here uh, give them a huge round of applause for taking their time to be present in our Christmas carol service we really appreciate your presence thank you for coming come back God came down. God looked down and God came down. Devam Sorgatnana Noki. Devam Sorgatnana Erangivan. Muna Chindagar. Padre Vegatil Paranya our sign began up in the Nagri. Onna. What is religion? When we reflect on Christmas, we have to ask a question: what is religion? Many a time, we, we understand religion as a human journey in the quest of God. Daivate Thedi, Ishwarane Thedi Ulla Manishende Yatrayana Madam. Religion. Always humans search or quest for God. Malayalatale Gana Gandharvanaya, Yeshudas. Padia Pata, Namana Manasel, Ingen on Darigo, and Dana Ishwarene Tedina and Alenu Kadalugal Kadanunya and Alenu Avida, you will live So, human beings continues to search God. God particles, God's, God components, God materials all over the earth. That is religion. Now Christmas. Christmas is the opposite, the reciprocal of religion. And that is the quintessence. That is the focus of the gospel. The, the focal point of the gospel. Christmas is God's journey in the search of human beings. Madam another Devate Tediola Manishenda Yatrayan and Gil Christmas in the Varaina the Manishene Tediola Devat in the Yatrayan. If we consider religion as God's human journey in the quest of God, we can see Christmas as God's journey in search of human beings. Through Christmas and and that is the central point of the gospel as well. God is in the search of human being. Devam Manishana Tedi Virigayana. Today, today morning we meditated on a small thought about glory. Glory. Glory of a person is not discerned by the heights one can reach but by the extent to which one can stoop down on the real life situations. Mahatthum anadha uri manishan yatramatram uyeran patchum ennu la dhalla. Yanal yatramatram yatramatram jeevita tinde anibhavangalil thare karangivar. How much, to what extent one can stoop down, one can come down from the state of their existence. 
that is Christmas. Number one. Number two, Christmas is the time of illumination. We can see lots of stars, lights, decorations, illumination. And this illumination is not through elimination but through sublimation. This illumination is not through elimination, elimination but through sublimation. The great lamented William Metropolitan of our church, Mark Chrysostom, used to say in, in his meditations, he used to uh, imagine a scene in heaven. When a baby is born in the major, there's a great joy in heaven. What is the reason for this joy? What is the reason for this happiness? That's what Thirumini is trying to think about. And Thirumini says we are in, in the culture of elimination. When one person among the Trinity is eliminated from heaven, that's the reason of joy. Sorgatil Munu Eridigian, Pidau Uttaram Parishuddha, Kasaragalian, Namada Paligalilla, Yonder Lither, Kasaragali, I got it in Lele, Ningalam Visha the Maran, if I'm put in the Malaga Maribel. Power syndrome, craze for power. We are living in an age where people are running after power, the strength of power. And in this rat race, one person is eliminated and there is a joy. Father and spirit is is in joy because sun is eliminated from heaven. No. The joy, the reason for joy is not like that. The joy is because God sublimated, not eliminated. God sublimated himself. Traditionally, we used to understand when we, when we learn about the doctrine of God, people used to say, impossibility of God. Impossibility. Because God cannot suffer. God cannot feel. God cannot come down. Because God is in the heavenly throne. He is the transcendent holy other. He cannot suffer. He cannot feel. He cannot sense. He is a person who is seen in the distance. That is a traditional understanding of God. Impossibility of God. Forbidden. For God to suffer is forbidden. So what is traditionally considered as forbidden has turned into something creative and salvific. And that is the core of the gospel. That is the core of the gospel. God came in the form of human, took the form of slave, died on the cross of Calvary for all of us to experience the salvation. So what was considered as forbidden has become creative and salvific. That is sublimation. I read an article read by Jessica Price, one woman from United Kingdom. And the title of the article is like this. Let's put an end to OCD. OCD. There are many doctors here. They all know OCD is a mental condition. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Lots of people are going through this mental struggle, OCD. And Jessica Price, once she went into a Target departmental store, she found some second sale sweaters and she calls it as ugly sweaters and she found a banner named OCD and the description says like this, Obsessive Christmas Disorder. Obsessive Christmas Disorder. And Jessica Price says, let's put an end to OCD. Don't take fun of people who is going through a difficult mental condition. Many a time, Christmas is an obsession for us. And many a time, it's an elimination. People enjoy because of elimination. But Christmas, the real message of Christmas is sublimation. Not elimination, not obsession but sublimation. Number three, let me conclude my message. Christmas is a celebration of humanity. Christmas. One passage from St. John chapter 90, I always uh, hold that passage close to my heart. The scene is Jesus Christ coming out from the court of Pilate after the verdict. Nalai resort orang itu diri kita Yohanan. Awan mulkiri daum, 
ധൂമ്ര വസ്ത്രവും ധരിച്ച് വെളിയിലേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങി വന്നു ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ജീസസ് കെയിം ഔട്ട് വെയറിംഗ് ദ്രൗൺ ഓഫ് തോൺസ് ആൻഡ് ദ പർപ്പിൾ റോബ് ആൻഡ് ഹി കെയിം ഔട്ട് ഇതൊരു ഫിലിം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ഫിലിം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി വി ക്യാൻ കോൾ ഇറ്റ് എസ് എ ഗ്രാൻഡ് എൻട്രി എ റെഡ് കാർപ്പറ്റ് എൻട്രി വി ക്യാൻ വി ക്യാൻ കോൾ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ബട്ട് പൈലറ്റ് വെൻ ജീസസ് കെയിം ഔട്ട് ഫ്രം ദ പാലസ് കോച്ച് വെയറിംഗ് ക്രൗൺ ഓഫ് തോൺ ആൻഡ് പർപ്പിൾ റോബ് പൈലറ്റ് വൺ ഹു വാഷ് ഹിസ് ഹാൻഡ് സെറ്റ് ബിഹോൾഡ് ദ മാൻ ബിഹോൾഡ് ദ മാൻ ഹെയർ ഈസ് ദ മാൻ Eke homo, here is the man. Pilate definitely could have been said, here is a criminal who is going to be crucified in a public place, in a market place. Chanda Salata Parasimai, Krusikipadan Bogun, there is a criminal. Here is a criminal, he is a robber, he is a thief. But Pilate said, behold the man. Eke homo, here is the man. Avane, ida a manisha. christmas is a celebration of humanity on the ariyavallo camelion on the on the aatmahathi yan thirumanichu aatmahathi aatmahathi kurup ezhudi vechittu adhiram aatmahathi edu suicide notch camelion decided to suicide and before the suicide attempt made a notch and it goes like this നിറം മാറുന്ന മത്സരത്തിൽ മനുഷ്യനോട് ഞാൻ തോറ്റു ഇൻ ദ റേസ് ഓഫ് ചേഞ്ചിങ് കളർ ഐ ഫെയിൽഡ് ടു ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് നിറം മാറുന്ന മത്സരത്തിൽ മനുഷ്യനോട് ഞാൻ തോറ്റു എമങ് ദ സെവൻ പോയിന്റ് നയൻ ബില്യൺ പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ ദ വേൾഡ് വേർ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് എ റിയൽ ജെനുവിൻ ഹ്യൂമൻ in this christmas eve god is asking from heaven where i can find a real human asking to me as well where i can find a real human evideyana oru nalla manushane kaanan sadhikkunnathu pilot said behold the man adana a manushan ene etham koodil swadhinicha oru novel aanu shoes of fisherman written by an australian writer morris west which is published on June 3rd 1963 on the day Pope John 23rd passed away the main plot of the novel is the election of a ukrainian pop and dissection of vatican politics and in that story all the cardinals came forward to the newly elected ukrainian pop and asked what do you want from us pope എന്താണ് ഞങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് നീ പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ക്രിസ്മസിന് ഞാൻ അവസാനം പറയുന്ന വാക്ക് ഇതാണ് എന്താണ് ഞങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് നീ പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നത് ദ ന്യൂലി എലക്റ്റഡ് യുക്രൈനിയൻ പോപ്പ് സെറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഫൈൻ മീ മെൻ വിത്ത് ഫയർ ഇൻ ദർ ഹാർട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് വിങ്സ് ഓൺ ദർ ഫീറ്റ് ഫൈൻ മീ മെൻ വിത്ത് ഫയർ ഓൺ ദർ ഹാർട്ട്സ് and wings on their feet devathinu vendi hrudayathil agni ullavarum kaaligalil charagumulla aalugale kandupidichu tharamo among the 7.9 billion people in the world where i can see a real human god in an awesome act of self denial he entrusted his reputation to the very ordinary ones and that ordinary ones became the real heroes of christmas god in an awesome act of self denial he entrusted his reputation to the ordinary ones and that ordinary ones became the real life heroes of christmas that we have seen in the nativity skit right now but there is a question do you have a role to play in this christmas story do you have a role to play in this christmas story christmas is not a time of obsession it's not merely a time of celebration but it is a call to make an offering which you have never made in your life 
which you have never made in your life jeevithathil innu vare cheyatha oru arpanam devathinte sannadhiyil arpikkanulla oru veliya viliyana christmas god in an act awesome act of self denial he endorsed his reputation to the ordinary ones and they became the part of the christmas story moonu karyangalana yan parayan shramichathu christmas is a journey of god in the search of humanity christmas is a time of illumination and the illumination is not through elimination or obsession but through sublimation number 3 christmas is a celebration of humanity manushyatvathinte aagosham kodi kanakkan aalukal jeevikkunna logathil evadeyana oru manushya ningalkku ellavarkkum i wish from the depth of my heart i wish a meaningful real christmas and a wonderful prosperous new year